Hey, there is a serious bacterial outbreak that's going around. It appears to be spreading, and it could be deadly for all of our dogs. It is called leptospirosis, or lepto for short, short that is. And joining us this morning to talk more about this is veterinarian Dr. Kelly Karens. Thanks so much for coming in this morning. And you brought Simon, and Simon's owner, <laughs> right? Thanks for coming, and look how sweet. Okay, leptospirosis, I've been hearing about this. Yes. How deadly is this? Uh, it can be quite deadly. It can cause significant illness and death in our dogs. Um, it can cause kidney failure, liver failure, um, and frequently is fatal without treatment. And it is a bacterial infection? It is. It is a bacterial infection that is transmitted via contact with contaminated urine and it can live in the environment for quite a long time. Okay, so what are the warning signs and symptoms that we should look out for? Sure, that's a great question. There's a lot of symptoms of leptospirosis. We can sometimes see lack of appetite, vomiting, diarrhea, increased thirst and urination, sometimes jaundice, which means yellowing of the skin or the really? eyes or the gums. Okay. And um, so those are, and are those something that we see all together or we might just see a couple of them? Because, yes. you know, if you're, you, you, we love our pets. Mm -hmm. There are our children. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when, when people hear these things are going around, it makes them very nervous. So they want to know specifically Absolutely. what to look for, yes. right? Well, one of the things that is so concerning about this particular infection is that dogs can have one or several of these symptoms or none at all. Mm. Some dogs can be infected, not become clinically ill, but still be shedding in the environment. And then they pose a health risk to, to not others. only dogs, but to humans. Humans, really? And, and how bad is it in humans? It can be fatal in humans. Oh, wow. So this is one of the world's most important zoonotic diseases. This means that this infection is transmissible to people from animals. Wow, okay. Now we were speaking earlier before we went on camera here that there's actually a, a vaccine for this, right? That is correct. Okay, so if people go and get their annual vaccines for their mm -hmm. dogs, mm -hmm. Is it more than likely they've already had this vaccine, their dog? Um, they may or may not have had this vaccination. Uh, this vaccination is not considered to be a core vaccine, meaning that all dogs may not receive it initially when they get their puppy shots. Okay. Uh, but it is strongly recommended that all pet owners do speak with their family veterinarian about getting their dog vaccinated. Uh, we are seeing a lot of outbreaks in the area. Uh, dogs are uh, frequently at risk if they have any contact with standing water, if they go to dog parks, parks. A lot of mammals and rodents in the environment mm -hmm. will also shed this infection. Okay. So I would strongly recommend that all pet owners speak with their family veterinarian about getting their dog protected and getting this vaccination, which is quite effective. Okay, so two more questions for you then. Mm -hmm. So if you have not been back, if your dog has not been vaccinated, is it too late? How quickly will that vaccination work? Mm -hmm. And at this point, should I keep my dog away from dog parks and other dogs? Sure. I don't think that we need to be too concerned about not going to dog parks or having contact with other dogs, but I would encourage pet owners to speak to their family veterinarian to find out the specific environmental and lifestyle risk factors that their dog may have that would impact them getting vaccinated. And I would suggest if your dog is not vaccinated that you do go to your veterinarian to talk about getting that vaccine. Okay. The vaccine does uh, work fairly quickly um, and it is given generally annually so that we continue to provide protection. One vaccine will not last an entire lifetime. Okay, and there's also this flu um, that's going around to this dog food but can we yes. just get a quick look how sweet this is this is Simon Simon is three months old you said right look how absolutely gorgeous um, but dog flu is going around too so while we have you here you know yes that, Yes, uh, so the, the, the dog flu also can make our dogs very sick. It can also be fatal. Uh, dog flu generally presents with respiratory symptoms, meaning coughing mm -hmm. um, or trouble oh. breathing. There is a vaccination that is also quite effective. There are two strains of flu. And again, this is a vaccination I would strongly encourage folks to speak with their family veterinarian about because it can really help save their dogs. Okay, thank you. Such useful information. I am so distracted by this beautiful <laughs> puppy. Oh my gosh, can I take you home? Oh, what a sweetheart.